So if you are watching this video, that means that you're probably interested in becoming a local chapter leader for Real Talk Philosophy, which is awesome. In addition to all of the other benefits, this is also a really great opportunity to make money. Toxic polarization is a huge issue, and we figured out a solution that's really good for the world that ends up actually being very social and fun and quite lucrative. Of course, most people who take on this project, they're not actually, first of all, interested in the money. But as we'll see, most local chapter leaders are able to generate somewhere between $500 and about $3,000 a month. For that, I mean, it really only takes about 10 to 15 hours a week. We have a spreadsheet. You can go on to realtalkphilosophy.org slash local and you can find the spreadsheet there and you can follow along with us and you can manipulate the sheet and you can come up with a pretty good estimation of how much money you'll be able to make in your area and I hope that this clears things up for you a little bit. If you have any more questions after this, definitely reach out to us. Send us an email. Send us a message on Facebook. We're happy to help you. We really think that this is something that's like essential and needed in the world right now. So thank you very much and uh, let us know if you have any questions. So from the Real Talk Philosophy website, you can get access to this spreadsheet. It's designed to help local chapter leaders like yourself see how much money could possibly be earned through this project. So I, I did my best of um, from the expenses that we've had in other cities and the amount of people that have come and how we calculate our income um, to show you what that might look like. It does say the first thing, the first step here is going to be to make a copy of the sheet. So once you access this, just go ahead over to file and then go ahead to make a copy here. Um, and then you can call it really whatever you want and then click OK. OK, so, oh my god, this sheet looks so overwhelming. What's going on? <laughs> OK, so I understand there are lots and lots and lots and lots of numbers here. So let's break down um, what this is, yeah, what, what, what all these numbers mean, what all these numbers mean. Um, so up at the top here, it says income and expenses per number of guests per week. So of course, the, the number of... Uh, of guests is going to directly impact how much money you're making each week. So maybe you only have 10 guests, maybe you have 25, maybe you have 40 guests, maybe you have 55, maybe you have 70. When we were running events in Hanoi, we had an average um, of about 130 guests per week. Um, I don't know if, and this is after running events there for a number of years, I don't know how many people are going to be coming out to events in your city, um, but we've had, you know, significant success uh, in Chiang Mai. Our average is about 65 right now. Um, in Da Nang, it's closer to about 45 or 50. Um, but, uh, but these are all in non-native English-speaking countries, and, um, and if you're in a sp space where there might be more English speakers, um, then there's probably going to be much more of an audience, a much greater audience, and that, that means much higher earning potential. But even if we stick around here, the potential for earnings is still quite high. Um, so if we don't look at any other numbers, what we can do, uh, let's say we project that we might have 55 guests per week. So we're going to look at column H here. If we have 55 guests per week, then that's going to work out to about $366 net. That means after all expenses, after royalty fees are paid to Real Talk Philosophy for providing um, the support, for providing the slides and the artwork and the questions and the games and uh, all the research and the scripts and all of the material, um, after any um, royalties are paid there, um, what, what you're left with, what the local chapter leader is going to be left with is, is $366 a week um, or about $1,500, $1,600 a month. Now, what's amazing here is you're not required to do any additional research. It would be great if you did, but you're not required to. The biggest thing is just, you know, creating uh, a, a relationship with the venue and actually managing these events. Um, you can see uh, on our website all the other things that a local chapter leader is responsible for, but it really doesn't take much more than about 10 hours a week in total. So this is a great secondary gig for you, um, or if you're living in a place where the cost of living is quite low, then it, this can just be your primary job, working 15 hours a week or so, uh, 10, 15 hours a week, and, um, and leading these events. So, um, yeah, if we're at 55 guests per week, that works out to about $1,600. Now, I'm going to break down how we got there so that you're able to edit these numbers to reflect the reality of, of the situation um, in whatever city you might want to lead these events in. Now, if we look over at the, you know, 130 people coming each week, which is totally possible, totally feasible, people love these events, they're super fun, super social, super informative, and meaningful. Um, you know, if we get to that point and we're charging, you know, $10 at the door, um, 
if we're charging 10 bucks at the door, then that works out to about $4,000 a month for these events. And again, that might be for as little as, as 10 to 15 hours a week. Of course, the more time you put in, the more successful these events are going to be. I want you to be successful. Our whole team wants you to be successful. Um, and we want to give you the support to bring in as many people, as many return guests um, as possible to these events to make sure uh, that you keep on making as much money as you can, because that's honestly a direct reflection of how valuable um, this service is to your community. Okay, so now that we see the way that um, the guests per week um, eventually breaks down into the amount of net earnings, and again, that means final earnings, no other ex after all expenses, the net earnings um, for the local chapter leader, we can then, um, and, and we, see, we, we see the relationship there. Now let's break down exactly how we got there. Okay, so um, we charge money in a couple, we make money in a couple different ways, right? So one, we make money off of entry fees and off of memberships. So um, normally, um, in my experience, about 75% of the audience, they were just first-time guests and about, um, or rather, one-time guests. Sometimes people keep on coming back, but they, they don't sign up for a membership, and that's fine if that's the way they want to do it. Or um, they're a member, and that makes up about 25% of the guests. Now, um, depending on how that breakdown is going to look in your city, that's something that's very difficult to predict. So I would suggest leaving these numbers there. That's probably true. It's been true in most cities. Um, but, uh, you know, as time goes on, maybe you want to update these numbers a little bit. Um, okay, so then this, uh, this cell here, cell C7 here, um, this is the amount of money that you're going to charge at the door. Now, if you're in a city like Hanoi, in Vietnam, where the you know the average income is about $150 a month for people living there, um, the event is the most event costs are extremely low. Most events are free or about two dollars. We were charging um, about three dollars and fifty cents at the door, um, and uh, and but in other countries, um, I think in countries where the average income is going to be a little greater than that of uh, in Vietnam, then you probably have the opportunity to charge a little bit more money. So I can imagine that in some cities, you know, it's possible to charge $20 per um, per event, per you know, $20 per entry, maybe 15 in some. I, th I think that 10 is, uh, is pretty... Um, I think that 10 is like pretty reasonable. Um, it could be less, you know, maybe because you're just starting out, you, you, you choose $5, whatever it is, play around with the numbers and you can see that, you know, there's actually a lot of money to be made here without a, a huge time investment um, regardless. So let's, I'm, I'm going to put it back to that $10 mark because I think that many cities will be able to charge this. But again, if you're, if you're living in a, in a country with a lower average um, cost of living and average income, you might want to change that. So just think about what's realistic. Look around at some of the other events. How much are people charging for the events? Um, these events are extremely high quality, the ones that we have. So we've gotten away with charging quite a bit more than the average cost of events um, in the cities where we've, where we've held events. Okay, whoo! Uh, so now that we got that, um, we can also take a look at uh, at the member entry. So in general, members get in at sixty percent of the cost of um, of one time guests. So they buy a membership card, which the kind of deal that we have right now is five entrances for the cost of just three. So if one entrance is ten dollars, then you can buy five entrances for thirty dollars. That makes sense. So that means that the um, per entry cost then for, per event is going to be six dollars. So out of those twenty five people, uh, twenty five percent of people that are members, they're all going to pay on average about six dollars for entry. Now I know that I'm spitting a lot of numbers at you. <laughs> I don't mean to do that. There are a lot of numbers that go into this, and if you have any questions, um, I'd be happy to have myself or one of our um, local chapter advisors talk to you about how um, how these numbers break down and what it's going to look like in your city. So if any of this is too confusing, just give us yeah, um, send us an email, and we're happy to answer any questions. Um, yeah, um, and then so we also make money off of food and drink. So generally. At per event, most venues give us somewhere between 15 and 25% of whatever they take for the night. So we bring in the, the bar or the restaurant a huge audience, a huge you know group of people that are going to be buying drinks and are going to be buying food. And because we brought in all these guests, the venue pays us. Uh, normally, again, that deal is about 15 to 25%.
that is going to be about $10 per person is what they're spending on average through the night. Some people aren't going to spend anything. Other people are going to spend $20. Some people might spend $30 if they're buying, uh, you know, a couple dishes, a couple drinks. Um, think about for you what you think might be realistic in an evening, how much the average person might spend, and you can change these numbers around. You know, maybe you think it's only $8. And this is the total, what their total bill is going to come out to at the end of the night. And then you are going to receive 20% of whatever that is. So now that we have the revenue out of the way, so revenue is the amount of money that you're taking in, um, then we want to talk about our expenses, the amount of money that we're putting out. So there are a couple expenses that we have each time. Maybe um, you want to pay for your guests' parking. This is something that we've done in a couple of cities. It's certainly not required. Um, for right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this off. But if that's something that you want to add here, you know maybe uh, you know maybe that's gonna be two dollars per person or something like that. At the end of spending, you can see the way that that changes the numbers here. We normally have some kind of contest, a, a game that's being played, maybe a, a drawing contest, a haiku contest, um, maybe you know there's some uh, yeah something like this, some competition, some game, um, and maybe you want to buy a drink for the person at the end of the night. That shouldn't be purchased by the venue. That should be purchased by by you, by us. Um, so we, uh, so I'm just throwing in, you know, five dollars at the end of the night for one of the contestants. Um, you, maybe you want it to be a little bit more expensive. Maybe maybe you don't want to give any prizes. You know, for right now, I'm just going to leave five dollars in here. Um, Facebook is an incredibly incredibly effective way to advertise. Now, I think that there are some kind of ethical issues uh, around using Facebook in general, you know? So maybe you prefer not to use Facebook, you'd prefer to use, um, you know, Google advertising or just traditional advertising, you know, printing up flyers and posting them around or maybe ad, um, maybe email campaigns on MailChimp or something like this. Let's just say that per event, we're going to get spend about $20 per event. Now, the return on Facebook ads has been extremely high. So, um, uh, yeah, I do think that advertising in some way is going to ultimately be, be really good for your bottom line. Although for your first couple of events, if you don't feel comfortable doing that yet, if you just want to get up to speed, don't worry about it. Um, and then you might just have some miscellaneous costs. Maybe you need to buy some extra papers, some extra crayons, some extra pencils. Um, maybe you know, uh, a, you know, you need to buy a new microphone, or maybe you need some batteries for your microphone, or something like that. I'm just gonna throw five dollars in here. Actually, let's call it ten. Why not? Let's just call it ten dollars per night. We're gonna say is miscellaneous costs for um, miscellaneous costs for the event. Okay, so that means that our total expenses. Uh, are going to work out to about $35 per event here. Okay, and again, as we change these, this number will change. But so that's $35 per event, and then our revenue was $106 per event. So basically, we're going to subtract 35 from 106. That gives us something that's closer um, to our net income. But first, we also need to take account into some of the people that we pay. Now, different countries have different laws about who you can pay. And um, it, you may be required to legally establish yourself in the country where you are, um, uh, where you're going to be leading these events. Um, we can help you sort out all of the legal stuff there. Um, and uh, But yeah, you might not really be able to pay anybody um, for any of these services uh, unless like we definitely want you to comply with the law here, you know. So um, yeah, maybe you hire a musician to write a song, and that might cost about twenty dollars. Or honestly, we've written a lot of songs. Maybe you just want to hire somebody to play a song. So maybe they don't want twenty dollars. Maybe that'll just be ten bucks, you know, something like that. We'll, we'll call it twenty for right now, um, just to keep these as realistic as possible. Maybe you want to pay a photographer for the night, and you know, maybe the photographer, maybe it's not twelve dollars. Maybe it's twenty. So we can change that there. Um, maybe you have a videographer come in. Um, this is definitely not required at the beginning, so don't worry about this just yet until you're until you're kind of up and running is all good. Um, and maybe you have a, a local assistant that's going to be helping you. Um, the assistants that we've used in the past, um, we've worked out a deal for about 15% of whatever the um, whatever the, the revenue is so that they are um, encouraged to bring in as many people into these events as well. And even for the musicians and, uh, you know, the, if you have artists as well um, from the local community there, we provide you a lot of artwork, but in case you want to bring in anybody from the community and pay them for something, um, then uh, doing a percentage of revenue might be best there too. Anyway, um, so then, so those are uh, the two big kinds of expenses. So we have the, the um, 
uh, local expenses that are not related to staff, and then we also have um, local staff salaries, or you can even call these stipends. Um, might be better to get around um, any like legal requirements. We can talk about that more in detail, of course. And then the last, um, the last expense that you're going to have as a local chapter leader is going to be royalty fees to Real Talk Philosophy. So we have spent years designing this material. We have a big team of researchers and artists and musicians um, and uh, and writers and designers. Um, we've conducted lots of interviews with people, you know, and um, so for the, the years that we've put into each one of these, um, we ask for 15%, we require 15% of whatever your um, revenue is, that is your, your total revenue, all the money that you bring in, um, that we would take 15% of that. And that's to make sure that we can continue paying for our musicians, for our researchers, for our you know, we give uh, we give money back to our panelists much of the time, um, although many of them want to do it for free. Um, that we can pay for our designers. We have a legal teams so that we can pay for our, for um, some of the the business management and administration. Um, so on our side, there are a lot of costs. Um, right now, we're not really making very much money, um, and that's okay. We do this because we love it. But in order to keep the doors open, in order to even keep these events like possible. Um, we, we have to charge something from all these events, and 15 feels pretty fair. Okay, so if you only have 10 people coming per week, then if we look here, um, then that means that your uh, monthly salary is probably going to work out to about $20 per month. You can be saying, $20 per month? That's not great. I agree. Uh, I would really love to see more than 10 people coming each week, and I think if you're doing these right, you're definitely going to see more than 10 people coming to these events per week. Again, they're very fun. They're very social. We have really good uh, advertising principles already in place because we've been doing this for so long. Uh, at 25 people per week, it'll work out to about $500 per month. Again, for only about 10, 15 hours a week of work on your part, that's actually a really good return already for you just for $25 um, just for, sorry, just for 25 people coming per week. But again, uh, you know, most of our events get way more than 25 people. Um, even in, you know, Da Nang, which is a relatively new chapter right now, they've been, only had about four events so far. They're getting on average about 50, 55 people. Um, and, uh, and the, the monthly income is going to be about 15 hundred dollars there now of course actually in Da Nang uh, they're not charging ten dollars at the door because again in, in Vietnam the average income is, is quite a bit lower um, but you can expect I imagine at least 55 people coming out to these events um, and then yeah again if we move over to like a hundred people coming per week which would be grand then you know that's three thousand dollars coming into you uh, each month which is huge especially considering that this could be done as just a part-time job so, um, within your local chapter, there's a good chance that there are going to be some other, um, some other expenses, things like uh, taxes, um, maybe certain legal costs, um, and, uh, and we definitely want to take those into account. So there's probably more than just this that's going to be different for every location, though, of course. Um, so um, if you want to update the spreadsheet some to include some of those costs, you're definitely invited to on your on your own spreadsheet. Uh, feel free to change around any of these numbers. You can delete stuff. It doesn't matter. This is just yours after you make a copy, um, and you can't edit ours. So um, that's really everything, guys. Um, huge money-making opportunity. Um, all of the presentations are already constructed. The artwork, the community questions, uh, the, the music, panelist um, interviews, it's all already been done. Um, all that you'll need to do is form some kind of relationship with the venue, do any legal registration that might be required, and we'll, we'll help you through um, those processes, do some local advertising, and we'll help you with that too. Shouldn't take more than about 10 to 15 hours a week. Um, and yeah, you can earn quite a pretty penny from this. So I think it's a very cool opportunity that we've, uh, that, that we've developed over the last few years. And, you know, my, my biggest, it's, it's my biggest passion in the world. And I, I want to see, you know, 40 of these happening all over the world, um, you know, in, in many different cities, um, having important, meaningful community conversations. I, I think that given the toxic polarization that we see all over the world right now caused by, you know, echo chambers on Facebook and everything, that this is one solution. And it's one solution that has like a very fun and lucrative, this is uh, one solution that's very fun and lucrative. So, um, 
I hope you can be a part of it. If you have any questions, reach out to us on Facebook or uh, via email. And yeah, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you so much, guys.